Welcome to I Believe. I'm so glad you are joining here. This is not just our television studio for I Believe, but it is also where we hold uh, Monday nights at the bungalow, bungalow worship, the first Monday night of every month. People gather in here, a full band comes in here, singers, worshipers. We eat afterward and there's a spread that Charlie and Charlie's Angels make. And it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful event, a wonderful time that we have. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining. We have skylights and it's raining here right now. So hopefully it'll rain some glory down. Monday night we were in here and a powerful prophetic word came forth. And we've had a lot of views of Monday night's event, but if you have not seen it, we're going to play it for you here in a few minutes. And then we're gonna talk about that prophetic word. Uh, this is a special place. Not only is it the studio where we do so many things, but it is my home. I live here. It's a small one bedroom bungalow in Winter Park, Florida. And it's amazing what God has done here. I actually moved here because I saw this bungalow on realtor.com when I was visiting and I moved from Houston here. Very unusual move, but it was a prophetically, uh, initiated, a prophetically initiated move that I did. And I'm so glad that I did. God has done so much. I, I looked around on Monday night and just about everyone in this home for Monday night at the bungalow, they were ministry partners. Uh, everybody in this room right now behind the scenes are ministry partners. And uh, when I moved here, our ministry partnership grew 1000%. It's just, it shocked me. And in the middle of COVID, when my traveling and my conferences and my international travel and my source of income was diminished so much, God sustained me through you. And you are the reason why we bring this program to you. You are the reason why we do so much is because you enable me to put a full-time effort into ministry. And I thank God for you. Thank you for every ministry partner who goes to jeffferguson.com. I appreciate it so much. One of the things I was able to do, I'm able to do is write books because I can put a full-time effort into ministry, ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, my friend and longtime ministry partner and dear friend, Gail Baker, uh, she's my writing associate. And she and I wrote this brand new book. It just was sent out. It was just had a wide release on uh, Charisma House. And it's Benny Hinn's powerful no, new book. He's the number one uh, New York Times bestselling author, phenomenal author. This book is called Mysteries of the Anointing. It's his revelation. It's his writing. And we just... Uh, wrote it too, <laughs> but it's really powerful. It's really, really good. I was able to spend two or three months with him many times every day for hours and hours at a time while this book was produced. It's so powerful. And then I was so blessed to do the, to do the narration on the book. So you can get that through Charisma House, charisma.com. You can get it through uh, iBook. You can get it through Audible, which is Amazon's audiobook company that I listen to every day. I listen to those books, but you can download it and get it. And it's such a very special and anointed book. So I want to recommend that you get that. Um, the prophecy, I, I, want, I want you to watch it right now. It's a clip. Amy was there and sent me a clip to my phone of the prophetic word. It's just a few minutes long. So watch it and then we're going to talk about it. For I am turning the tables over in front of my houses, says the Lord. For I am turning the tables over. And it is not to bring condemnation on the men and women who serve me in ministry. But it is to turn the tables. For I am turning the things that have seemingly worked but truly have not worked. I'm turning the tables, the methods, the ways it has been done over in my houses of worship, says the Lord. So don't 
think it's strange when you see a changing of the guard, but new, no new guard coming up. Because the move that I am bringing into the world and that I am bringing through into my people is a move of my spirit that points to Jesus and not to ministries. For I am moving by my spirit in a way that will be so effective that anything that resembles my glory and my power but does not contain any glory and any power will be exposed in the light of my revelation. For I am revealing myself to my people and I am revealing myself in the world for you are the light of the world but it is not your light. It is my light within you, says the Lord. In this light of revelation, I am going by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to burn up every deception that has hit my people. For I am tired of the enemy affecting my work and my people. For I am sending a fire of my spirit. Spirit that will burn away everything that is not of me. So get ready because when I am through, you will see an outpouring of my spirit like nothing you have ever known. It will be the latter and the former reign together. For I am about to move by my spirit, says the Lord, and you will know that I have moved, for it will change you and turn you upside down for I am about to do it the time is now says the Lord it was a uh, powerful word that I didn't even know what I said when it was over until Amy made a clip of it uh, the lady standing behind me made a clip of it and, and sent it to me on my phone and I saw it. And when we were preparing for these programs with you today, and I believe, I felt and Dom and Charlie felt that produced this program that we needed to talk about what, what that prophecy said. And so it has affected a lot of people. I've been contacted by a lot of people. It's affected them. Uh, and touch them. And so I want to talk about it. The first thing that came out in that prophecy, there would be uh, that, that God said, I'm turning the tables over in front of my houses, says the Lord. So as I'm reading it, I feel a prophetic unction on me even now. So I'm going to go with what I hear the Lord saying. Uh, you know, those tables, when Jesus turned the tables over. He did it twice in his ministry. I thought it was just once, but he did it toward the end of his ministry after he rode in with the palm branches, remember that, rode in on the donkey. And he also did it at the beginning of his ministry. It was two different times. So there are bookends to his ministry. In the mouth of two or, four, two or more witnesses, let every word be established. So this is a very important reference in scripture. Uh, I believe there are a lot of ideas and maybe many, many faceted reasons why, uh, purposes why Jesus turned the tables over. But one of the reasons is that, that the tables were set up in the outer court of the temple and people could not enter, did they not, it had, if they would not purchase the items to sacrifice for forgiveness. So people say it's about money, it's about this, it's about that. One of the main reasons Jesus turned those tables over, and I'm speaking prophetically right now, is because those tables prevented certain people from getting into God's house. 
uh, they, they excluded people. Let me tell you right now, there is a move of God coming to this world that is such a powerful move of the Holy Spirit. Here's what the prophet Joel said. In that day, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. So what did the prophet Joel say? That the spirit of God would be poured out on all flesh. What did Jesus say? For God so loved the world that whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, when it comes to our political ideas, when it comes to our social ideas, when it comes to our religious ideas, we must lay all of that aside when it comes to the gospel, because the gospel leaves nobody out. Everybody is a candidate to be saved. And the precious blood of Jesus that was spilled on Calvary's tree was enough to pay for all of humanity's sin forever. So potentially, everybody has been saved and everybody has already been redeemed, but we they just have to receive it and accept it. But how can they hear without a, without a preacher? We must not pre-qualify people that we take a scripture or any other reason and bring judgment against them and make them feel like they're not a candidate for the gospel because the gospel is not about my worthiness. It is about the worthiness of the Lamb of God who spread his arms out to die for humanity and he rose again. It's never been about my worthiness. It will never be about your worthiness, but he is worthy with that precious perfect holy blood that was spilled to die for humanity. So we need to understand, we're gonna have to put our religious hats and remove them and take them off when it comes to the gospel because a move of the spirit of God is coming to this world that is not about religion, it is not about law, but it is about the precious gospel of Jesus Christ that is for every human being. So Jesus turned over the tables. Now, that prophecy said that Jesus turned over, that God was going to turn over the tables, not to condemn his men and women who minister, but to turn over the methods that seems to work, but they really don't work. There seems to be an anointing, but it could be worship leader, that it's not really the anointing, but it is a set of chords and musicality and, and that is sensual and drawing that resembles the anointing and people, like I recently watched a, a, a worshiping crowd of thousands and there were no tears. It spanned the audience. They didn't go deep. I'm not saying you have to cry to go deep, but if you look at a move of the Holy Spirit where people are worshiping, at least a third of them are crying. There were no tears with thousands. So, so, so many of us, when we feel the presence of God and experience the glory of God, we respond through a, such a depth of emotion that many times it comes out in tears. If you're looking around your church and nobody is crying, nobody is touched to that depth, it could be it resembles the anointing, but it's not. So God is going to turn the tables over. The methods that seemingly have worked, but they're not actually working. Hallelujah. The way that it has been done, God is going to turn the tables over, not in judgment, but in adjustment, to bring an adjustment and a change to the way we do things. Thank you so much for being a part of this program today. You know, we have bungalow worship 
our beautiful gathering right here at the bungalow of worshipers, a band, singers. You turn bones into armies. We have The Vow, our dynamic ministry to 50 and over right here in Orlando. Tabitha's ministry, our victorious ministry for widows. Then we have Jeff Ferguson Ministries, which is our daily I Believe program every day at 1 p.m. on YouTube or Facebook, different social media platforms. Thank you for supporting this ministry. This is a healing place. This is a healing place.